What's going on everybody, it's your boy SB is the Trackster and welcome back to another dancehall video tutorial once again brought to you by jadrumsupply.net one stop shop for everything dancehall, you understand? album artwork, custom rhythm, pre-built rhythms, mixing, mastering you don't know the whole nine, drum kit, samples, all kind of everything you know what I mean? so today, we all kind of take a trip through photoshop um, some basics, some advanced shit. Or some basics and some intermediate shit. Because me is no for our me is by no means a full professional. You know, I just know my way around Photoshop. So I'm going to kind of walk through my process and how me design my cover art them and the artwork I'm do for people. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to show a quick artwork and then I'm going to start talking about the, um, the, the one I'm going to work on. So this uh, is a EP cover I'm gonna do for show crime name fully dark, you understand? So the basic thing I did I try to capture with this was the blood, you know what I mean, the flow through the letter them to kinda give you off a gangster vibe, you know what I mean, like a murder type of image in your head, you know what I mean? Once you see the blood that drip and then you see have show crime in the background now to kinda show the, the the whole fully dark type of theme. So even though it's simplistic, just a picture some darkness and the, the the words and all of that you get the idea of what the title of the track or the ep they say and you know i mean that's basically how i think about my artwork right so him did um have me do another one now named um title so you know this uh you kind of get the basic um everything we are going um is a girl tune named title so you want to put you know, like a bossy female on the cover, she stand up on top of a fucking Rolls Royce with a big bumbuckler like mansion in the background. You understand what I'm saying? So you kind of get the, the, the idea of what the title they try to translate. You know what I mean? So the one I'm going to do today is from DreamX Productions, where I'm going to work with all the while um, with artwork and stuff like that. And this one is called All This Pain. The artist named SSG Lyrical. And um, this are the picture I'm going to start out with. Now, I'm seeing a bunch of pictures. This are the one I'm going to like for the, the image I made it have in my head. And that's basically where everything starts in your head. Once you hear the title of the song, you're supposed to can think of a, a scenery or, a, or a basically a cover how you would want it for look, what you would want to represent the title of the song. The song name All This Pain. I'm sending a bunch of pictures. I'm saying, all right, I like that one because the idea what me have is more want to put him on like a wall or a gravestone. And have the background kind of dark for kind of emphasize like you know is a is a somebody who got through a lot you know what i mean in a life you kind of bring off the cover of the, of the work you know but enough of the talking still you know what i mean um we'll get into it so the first thing one me don't have to do personally me don't have to cut out this uh um image uh, um that's going to be a really kind of tedious process so i'm not gonna really play or not gonna really make the rhythm move more fast forward the video so you don't have to really watch me there cut out the image for half hour you know what i mean so we can talk about more stuff in the video um the pen tool i want me to use for cut out the image as you can see we have a blank background right now that don't change for right now it's cool for be blank but for when we start cut out more and no spot i'm on what's me i make some clean cuts with the line them so i just make the background black for right now let's change that back um black for right for right now so I'll start work on the, the cutout and once we're done we come back in and start talk again.
shit. Man, that shit took a long fucking while. All right, so <clears throat> my mama said me don't make the background black. This is the reason why I'm gonna do that. So no, but like I said, we don't have a fully high quality picture, you know what I mean? So it's kind of hard for kind of be fully, fully accurate. But even outside of having a, um, a, a good quality picture, if you have um, an, an image like this that taken at a daylight as opposed to like a photo studio or something like that, you don't have natural light all over it. So if you look upon the edge and point it over right, I say you see a lot of natural light even upon him face and all of that. The oh, way we don't fix that, you will see once and um, we kind of choose the, the type of tone or one environment around him for half. And I said, man says, so what we do right now is we do first, we do right click on the image and we do go rasterize. Now notice once we rasterize the image, you don't see a little bit of a change over here, so you know the arm, you know the picture. So we'll go right click and we'll go rasterize. I mean, and then if you right click now, we'll go apply layer mask. And if we never rasterize the image, we couldn't apply the layer mask. Now, what the layer mask is, is basically all of the stuff I will just get rid of. It'll mask it out, you know what I mean? Um, so if my paint white somewhere, it bring it back. Uh, sorry about that. So if my paint white somewhere, on the, you have to click on the, the, the layer first. If my paint white anyway, it bring back that. If my paint black, it get rid of um get rid of it. So what we do, do is we'll right click on it, apply a layer mask. So now if my paint white, we are paint on the actual picture. You know? So we don't make a duplicate control and J and we don't hide that or actually put that below the lowest layer. Right? So now we can kind of start roughly um shape out the, the environment and all of that so let's make this a little bit smaller we don't want them to be more than a little bit over half of the, the size of the picture control and zero to make that full screen and then we're going now and um they'll find um, a nice stone tablet film sit down i think we did have a let me say we didn't want to put him on a wall so let's go in and find a nice wall we have a nice like a dark type of um, setting right there so so we will drag that up, we'll make that a little bit bigger. We need it for kind of um to take over the um like the bottom half of the, the, the image. We don't really need the, the, the ground portion of um none of that. If it's big enough to go all the way across, that would be nice, but unfortunately it's not. So that's fine, there's no no problems there. So how we don't get it to go all the way across is what we do is first we don't mask out this again and we don't do pretty much the same thing with the pen tool we don't go across the top of the arm um, of the wall with the pen tool but this kind of simple so we don't need to really go through and um you know fast forward this apart so what we do is literally just make one line you know what i mean and just kind of get a, a like a natural bend in you know, a kind of stone surface not really smooth so we kind of want to just replicate that with all with all cut it out one cut it and make it look like it have some high points and some low points and all that type of shit so all do is just straight across the top and then loop come around click on this right click on the image make selection typically they would not say use 0.3 me personally don't use zero press enter now we have this big circle you press b if you get the paintbrush tool, make this bigger, make sure say you have paint black. If your color, like let's say we get over here upon the color and we have red. If you want that, go, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Red, motherfucker, red, bamba cloth. So let's say you over here, son, the color not the red, like how it's supposed to be fucking red, I don't know how to make it a show gray or whatever. But let's say the color not red and you want to get it back to black, just press D and it will reset the color of them to black and white. Press X for switch between the two of them, right? So now, if you paint black over it, we'll get rid of the wall, right? Cool. So we can have the wall that look like I said, it might grow out of the wall. So what we do do is we do come over here to the layers panel and we do drag him above the wall. We do right click on this. Notice how we don't have apply layer mask because we never rasterize the image. So we do right click on a blank space over here. So rasterize the um, layer then we can right click apply a layer mask let me say we want the wall stretch all the way across so I'll press ctrl and j if you duplicate it ctrl and t if you transform it now we can drag it all about over the place so the way how we don't get the wall for blend and this is a really nice wouldn't say trick but it's a really creative thing where you can do so basically when you have the wall leveled up so we want to make sure so we have the press enter another way where you can move around the wall is hold on from control or press v and it'll bring up this tool right so where you can move around anything where you click on so you can either do that or if you depend let's say you depend on the brush 
you can press control and hold on upon it and then you can move around um an image or whatever cool so what we want to do is we want to get the 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 top part right there so this bright white part right after kind of line up with a portion of the um of the wall you know what i mean we make it look kind of like the same thing and one that we don't know is we don't get um a layer mask on the top layer we don't get a layer mask on the bottom layer so on the top layer we need a soft brush so when you go up on the brush tool press b right click on the image and click soft brush and the general brush is up at the top you gotta click soft brush right and the hardest to the zero the size go there big proportionally but you can make it small just use the little bracket key them um on the keyboard right next to the letter p the two bracket key the left bracket make it small the right bracket make it big so now we have a soft brush right so if we turn off the bottom layer right this is a soft brush so it's small slowly like a fade out a hard brush would have just give you one solid straight chop down you know what i mean so that's why i'm gonna say use a soft brush because we don't blend the two image over each other we'll blend one image over the other so we don't get the soft brush and then we don't um just slowly just erase kind of blend it in make it look like a one uniform thing you understand what i said so now if you look on it outside of the floor where the floor is kind of i wouldn't say you can get away with it is somewhere you kind of have to be careful with it i'll show you how you can mask the 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 floor looking or the floor actually looking different so now if we zoom out it kind of look like a one solid thing you understand what i say even though it's a little bit darker than the other side that's fine that's not a big deal most people now gonna really notice that and we still can fine tune anyway and kind of change up all of that so now we'll right click on the two image or we'll control and click on the two image them and we'll make them bigger by wall and pan shift go at any corner and drag out left click and drag out and make that a little bit bigger um press enter for come out a transform and then control and zero if you make that but big again so with him now we don't go control and t notice so him foot cut off right so we don't kind of compensate for that so we don't make him bigger and we don't drag down um him foot like towards the bottom of the, uh, the image right that's right one kind of put him like towards the the side of the wall so i'm kind of block out the the part of the tile wall look a bit messed up you know what i mean i want him kind of look just like him sit on the wall or without fix him looking like him sit on the wall i would basically the shadows you know what i mean so basically the front part of the image done so now i really for work on the background and like we say everything though rough until you start fine tune out of the small little details of everything you understand what i say so i'll go in uh i'll fold on them backgrounds so we have all kind of different backgrounds and all them type of shit there so we have this um if you come down us up on leah and um, we have this thing right there so we have a uh, like a uh, you know what i mean so you know it's like a little bit of a sad setting you know what i mean that's cool we don't really need the lower portion at this so we don't put it in with our drag and we don't use the soft brush the same soft brush and we don't get rid of the bottom part of this we only need the the top part the sky the tone you know what i mean um then we have another one right there so but that's kind of out of what we are trying to right you now we have a hana come out of the ground here so we have this graveyard image right there so um which is cool um it not gonna work for me to do it because it have too much going at the background so let's um keep on look ah so we have another one right there so we have a graveyard again here so this one i know of um the crow um we're not gonna use the crow we need this week a little bit smaller probably like half of the size of what it is right now we just really kind of need it for the um for kind of the show the, the graves them right so something like that don't really pay too much attention to the um to the, the, the all of the background would all cut out all of that and would all blend this grass with some other grass right so the wall are just basically to kind of separate him from the background so we need to get the pen tool and like me said this is the time i wanna go fast forward video because it's a easy easy little cut out is nothing hard the best way for you i'm gonna say if you cut out angles or curves is for just make a straight line across put a dot in at the center then press control and drag up like that and then see something else so control and you know kind of forget the curves the more you zoom in the more accurate you know what i mean your curves and all of that shit 
going get so keep that in mind as well um remove this up a little bit all right and then like, remember keep in mind you know we keep the grass you know so anyway the tombstone meet the grass that are where we do put with that so we need to bring this over a little bit like that and um go up on this one so notice we have a little bit of a curve right there so, so we don't just put a dot here so bring out the curve curve like that and then put another like that and bring it back in and i mean get like that kind of smooth curvy type of feature yeah um, the pen tool is a thing where you, you watch a million video on it but it's a thing where you just have to practice it's not one of them things you can say yeah man i just saw you do it man and you do this and do that and do this and do that no nah, and also and also the pen tool work at all that's something where you have to have to have to have to practice if you're not practice it you will never ever fucking get it almost five years i use a pen tool right now and you know i mean still watch video on it and practice um how if you do certain things and all of that so it's just a thing where you have to practice you know what i mean anything at all if you are if you are a producer or whatever you have to practice to make rhythm because when you start out you're never win the best you know what i say so um yeah it's just a thing where you have to practice dog so we don't come up on this at home so when it's a straight edge so when you really have to stress it or come cross a little bit like that and then like me say what we don't do we don't make sure we say the um in other case you know some actually kind of want to keep the bird out so for right now we don't cut out the bird but later on down the line i don't know might might have to walk in and add the bird so put one at the center go up to the top put one right in at the curve here so get that the curve they put one here so get that the curve you know what i mean and it's just simply just put a that all on pong control and then drag it out put a that all on pong control drag it out and you can get some really nice some really smooth curves just like that really really simple I feel like right that's why you have this little thing you go on and say just put a that and bring it up you know what i mean and kind of level out exactly what i go on now you see a tombstone right there so we actually want to keep that so we kind of make a mistake so we need to just go in and you know what i mean delete some of them um delete some of them um them anchor points so we'll just right click on them and delete just like that until we get um up to the one i want so right as so now we'll all come across drop a look at that here so i actually just come right here so we did that so if you notice Did that did that drop the did that give me this weird little um weird little anchor thing I never like so get rid of that. Um so let's come straight across to here, put one at the center, drag up to the apex or the pinnacle, one right or so, get the curve, one right or so, get the other curve. You know what I mean? It's all about you and how you perceive the angles, you know what I mean? It's some sort of um thinking required your african judge an angle you know what i mean for no way you have to put the dot them right and what i mean by that is if i come straight down here i'll show you exactly what i mean by that right let's come across here now this is dark so i'm kind of have to do some guesswork over here so I mean, it's a dark. Um, let me say I have some thinking required. So when I zoom in like that, it's dark. Zoom back out, get a better image. So put that right here. So drag that down. And so boom. Right? And then I want to so get a little bit on the top of it. So cool. If we zoom in, you can see so we miss. So we just click and drag down. Simple. Simple, simple fixes. Nothing too difficult about this for the truth, people. And then this is the last one. So we'll just come straight down and go straight across now we can just you know loop around boom 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 right click make selection boom pop up so the one thing i may never do i'm gonna show you this never make your selection before you put on the layer mask if you put it on now it automatically delete and it delete the wrong shit so we'll go back we'll go back again we'll put on the layer mask then we'll right click and make a selection boom Press B to get the brush, swipe, swipe, swipe. Now all we have at the graveyard. And that's what I'm gonna say. So let's press D, D select. Now we can clone the graveyard, control and J. First, let's um rasterize these layers. And let's um so now, now that I rasterize the layer, the crow. If I want to get back the crow, you know what I mean? I'm off and rasterize them but the problem with that is that when my unrasterize the layer i'm mean, gonna get back the crew because it already notice how the image now 
it kind of look like it store up everything right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press ctrl and z and um make them back um and rasterize and then we don't just um or duplicate one of them or actually we don't even have to duplicate one if we need to um, bring back the chrome we have some birds so we don't we make our own crow if 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 it's necessary so i'll just rasterize a layer of them apply the layer mask to both of them apply and then we do like i said we duplicate it so we do press ctrl and t and now we can you know drag cross and we can kind of manipulate the background a little bit so what we can do is we can flip this horizontal now we have the the big grave on one side and you know what i mean the escalator so we'll duplicate this a couple of times press t again we'll put the or we'll flip this horizontal try and get the big grave um behind him like that um what i do do is i will probably end up fill up some of the blank space with with grass and we'll show you how we do that so firstly we'll go group everything highlight everything press ctrl and g double click on the the name of the folder and we don't change that to cemetery go into the folder and now we don't put on layer mask on all of the image them right one thing for you to kind of stay organized if you want if you remember which part them there notice how we have three of them right you can look on it and tell which part it is. So when we say this is one, the other one in the center, if we mute it, that disappear. This other one on the right, that disappear. On the left, that disappear. But in, in a case where you know you have a whole lot more things like sparks and them things there, you might have a 20 copy. You might want to name which part the location so you know, all right, if we say top right, then that at the top right. If we say top left, then that at the top left. You understand what I'm saying? So that way you can know exactly what they go on, right? So we're good for right now. We need to go in and get um, some grass. So, we do, let me see what we have. So, we have a graveyard. Uh, kind of like that. So, let's bring this in. We don't bring it in underneath all of the other ones, them, though. And what we do, do is we don't we do use the ground. So, just like what we do with the sky there, um, the last time we do get rid of the top off. We don't need all of that. We just need the ground. You know what I mean? We need the, the lower portion just like that right. so what we can do with this is we can just come in create a new layer above it hold on point alt and hover between the two line you don't see this thing pop in between what that is is you have to make a clipping mask right so we'll just do boom we'll make a clipping mask so if my paint black right now or white it only has show up which part this image are there if we take off the clipping mask now it'll show up everywhere. You understand what I'm saying? So basically what it'll do is that it'll force it to take over the image underneath. So anything I'm going to do on this image, it does show up on the image where they underneath it. So what I'm going to do is we don't use the image underneath and now we don't blend the, the gravestone them on the top um on the top side of it. So let's um come back out of that. Go up on the mega gravestone first and we don't make our brush a little bit smaller. Because we don't get rid of this tombstone from the far, far end over here. So, the reason why I use a soft brush is because we try to blend the grass, right? So, what I do also is we don't bring down the opacity on the brush to 50%. That's a 5 over 50%. No, it's very, very soft. You know what I mean? It get rid of it, but it really, they blend everything. It's, it's, it's really soft. Actually, that's not even soft enough. So, we got 25%. And that allow me now to kind of blend the image, um, the image them together, just like how we do with the, the wall earlier, right? But for right now, this is just for kind of get it to see how it would look with the grass, um, blend it together. We still have to add some more grass underneath to kind of, you know what I mean, bring it off fully. But for right now, this is just how, how everything is going to look. So let's go back to the one and the middle, you know what I mean, get rid of all of the edges and some are a little bit of the you know so we kind of create this artificial environment basically if you want to bring back anything just change the brush to white and paint over and that can bring back some of our take out and i mean if you want to bring back some of our take out so let's come back and yeah, bring back like this take out like that like that cool so let's move on to the one all you notice how it start look good you know and i mean if we turn off all of them things i notice how it rough and once we turn them on 
everything kind of smooth up but we need to blend the grass and kind of tone up the grass and get it um get the colors them and match up you know what i mean so that that's all we do, do after we do the the, the tombstone them on the right hand side so oh yeah that's coming so let's smooth out the grass yeah so let's look, look like over here so too cool so let's do them one over here so now click on the clipping mask and you now just take out what you feel is necessary just like that you know what i mean cool cool so now we have one layer of grass we have the the mask over it so what i'm gonna do is without bringing a image or have a, a color what i like so i'll just drag in an image of a color what i like but i'll make sure i say one this image is um on the top up above everything so i can sample the colors as me need so it have a dark greenish tone right at the bottom what i like you know what i mean so we don't sample the tone there. so we don't come back to this image i would hold on pan alt if you're on the brush tool and you press alt and hold on pan it you get the the paint dropper tool or the um the paint sample tool you can just click and sample any little color you know what i mean so want a darkish darkish green want it notice we say yeah green but we don't want it too um too green like the lantern you know what i mean and then we don't just paint over the image that's too green want it darker than that so let's go back let's sample again let's try this all right yeah and if you don't like that we can always drop the opacity to like 15 percent and that will help out with the um with the color and the shade of the color right so we'll just kind of go over and drop in like a dark um darkness on the grass kind of you know like a little blend like a little walkway type of thing you know what i mean in between the grave like over right over here so you can see it's like a little walkway did you like a, you know like a walkway settings are going right so that's what we don't use that for cool and then we can um we can turn this off we can just use this as sample here just like that turn that off cool so you can see how the image kind of um I come along you understand what i say you know the end one thing we don't end up doing is we don't probably change the floor the tile to the to the dirt for kind of just show say at the same environment it look like a same day in our house and you know what i mean it just not look kind of real and how it's supposed to look you know what i'm saying so um another thing what we can add is we don't put him in our folder so this right as so at the wall so we'll control and g and group that and this are just to stay organized right and we don't group him by himself and we'll put ssg lyrical and close the folder there close the wall folder cemetery folder we go we don't keep that up because now we don't add some smoke to it right so we'll go in a folder may have named smoke and we'll look for an atmospheric type of setting with the smoke right so um no 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 Oh, so we have one right here. So I like that one here. Yeah. Kind of faint. And we can always change it. So we'll put that in the cemetery folder. Uh, reason being, the cemetery folder is behind the wall. When you have an image with a full black background, what you want to do is click on this and click screen. And it get rid of all of that fear. You know what I mean? So now we can just take the smoke and kind of put it down towards the bottom of the screen like that. You understand what I'm saying? And if you get the smoke for even more realistic we can um let's get another um another kind of smoke in us so, so we have one more right there so cool we don't do the same thing click and we don't go screen again we don't take this a smoke and we don't put it between some of the um the gravestone them i will copy it and you know what i mean so let's press ctrl t notice it there between the the gravestone them in the mega right now right so what i'm gonna do is more put um a layer mask on it and we need to kind of just paint out which part the the smoke kind of not necessary remember we need to have this to block so just press ctrl and d here can remember with this sample the green so if we press ctrl and d it will take care of all of that for me now the top layer smoke we all do the same exact thing because we don't really want it for too dominant and all over the place we definitely want to have some sort of control over it and as i say we need to up the opacity to 100 percent and that will help out with that cool 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 i kind of get the, the atmosphere right you know what i mean so we have the smoke for the top layer we have the smoke for the middle layer now what we can do is um if you double click on this you can see the smoke kind of have a, 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 a like a little bit of a color to it but i'll put that towards the um the side over right there so 
Press enter, we'll put that right above the third layer in the corner. So that I would have this right here. So and then we do change that to screen as well. We do put another layer mask on it and we'll make the brush bigger and we do get rid of all of this over here. So we don't need it. And I mean we just want it to come off of the side. And you can definitely kind of see the, the, the type of atmosphere, type of um environment I may try to create, you know what I mean? So that's that for the for the smoke and all of that type of shit. Um, I could put them in a folder, but we don't have them all in the same line, so it would be hard for me to do. What we can do, however, is we can control and click on all of them. And um, once we do that, we can go up. All right, where you see this eye, I think. You can right click and change the color. So we have no color without change it to change it to gray. So now you notice it change all three of them to grey. We'll use blue. So when we say, all right, boom, them they are the smoke because when I have it in enough folder and can separate it or not like that. Cool. So we're done with the cemetery for right now. Let's go back to um, the background, right? So everything underneath the cemetery we would all group in a one folder and we don't call that background. And we do save the work that's one thing i should have mentioned in the first part so i'll put ssg lyrical and we'll just say all this pn save now we know say we work protected computer crash light gun anything you're good should i do that from start always save your work as much as i can no you don't start to me i save every time i get a chance all right so we have him there so we have the sky we have we start upon the sky basically so um if we go back now to that's a skyline that's not going to work so if we go back up to background backgrounds not battlegrounds let's try and find a nice it's a bush might not have um that in a this four layer yeah. so let's go back to the big folder let's type in moon so i'll pop up so we have this here so all right, all right cool this are where we don't really start set the tone and all right so we have the moon with our right click on it we'll go blending options we don't go color overlay or actually we don't even need to go color overlay what we do do is we'll go into google we'll find a nice um image like this we have a nice like a, a good let me say we keep on i say tone but you, you kind of get on me i say see all the tone of this is kind of blue the tone of this is kind of green um that's basically what i mean by that we we'll know we don't kind of set a tone and how it all light up the environment right so we need um graveyard I will put HD. And we are trying to get something with a nice, nice color to it. Blue or you know, type of green water the moon. Actually, what we can do probably is just go glowing moon. PNG. See if them have anything. So as you can see, a lot of these, these moons them have color. Something like this I may look for. And I mean with the like the blue tone that you can change the, the, the color so something like that will work um we did just see another one but I'm not sure what the fuck happened to it but basically something like that will work um that's not going to do I'm going to with them shit yeah um, like that like that too yeah I think this works so let's go save I would all just save this as um cut out. This cut out folder is basically just miscellaneous shit when my um when my find come in handy every now and then. Alright, so now you see it that says not a PNG file. So it's going to cut out. Alright, and we have a image converter, I can use convert it. So no worries, it's saying it's not a PNG no, but I think we're saying a shit for long, yo. So let's convert that. Um, now we have a should be a PNG of the file for dragging in now. 
So, but that's the problem that it come with. It come with the fucking background. I don't like that. So I'm gonna do this all garden and the moon with all go blending options. With all go color overlay. Actually, we'll go gradient overlay. With all changes to multiply. With all go in here now and change the two color from like that blue to a lighter blue. Something like that. But I want the, the, the first blue for a little bit um, darker than that though. So let's go in and let's click the color. Let's uh, make it dark ourselves and all it. So something like that. Make the other blue a little bit darker to see me. Let's go in a little bit. Something like that. Cool. Press OK. Press OK. Then under that now we have outer glow. We don't turn that on. we we'll put opacity at 100. We don't go multiply. And we don't change the color to a similar blue. You know what I mean? So some look a bit on the right side. We we'll change the size. Opacity all the way up. Put that to normal. Obviously, what you call it now work. And we'll, you know, just put all the way up. If we bring down the opacity, you can kind of see the glue kind of going away. So we don't make the glue a little bit big, and then we can just change our dominant by changing the opacity. So press OK. Let's delete the top layer. We don't need it anymore. So now we have the moon, right? So basically, the moon now, they'll start project the light down. So the light will come from behind him. So if we don't put light on him, himself without have to make the light come from him back way you know and i mean i would not show all all of that though we have to light up the grave them and all of that type of shit and you know kind of make the light kind of shine over the entire image you know and i mean just to kind of you know get the proper everything and make everything kind of blend together so i have the sky where all of that i mean if you do still what i want to do still is more and put in the cemetery behind Everything more and put some like some mountains, you know what I mean, where the sky can kind of blend in with. So let's go to I think round it is. We should have some sort of like mountains, some fields and all of them type of shit there. Yeah, so something like this. So I want that behind everything. I want it in the cemetery folder. I want it behind everything. But I'll flip the the I'll press Control T and we'll flip this horizontal. Forget the, the 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 hills on the other side. But I'll kind of center it up, make it a little bit bigger. But I'll put um um what you want to call it, pan it, uh, clipping mask on it, and we'll kind of clean it up a little bit. We'll start with a hundred as far as the whole cleanup process go. We will kind of bring that back as we go along, right? So now if we switch from 100 to like 20. And switch this to white. You can kind of, you know, kind of just um, add back a little bit of the greenery like that. You know what I mean? It's not a lot, just enough to kind of get the, the point across or whatever. So the background right there, so what we can do is we can, you know, Kind of shave it down a little bit like that. It's not really necessary anyway. The stars in the sky would all kind of make the blue light kind of translate down a little bit. So, I'm always behind the, the grass and above the grass. So, one behind, they come shine on the grass, then another one underneath the grass. What we all do is we all create uh, a gradient. So, we'll go blending options. We don't go gradient overlay. Same thing, we don't change this now to normal. Press OK. And it now I'm gonna show the gradient until we make the background a solid color because right now it's transparent. So we'll just press Alt and Backspace. Now it has show the gradient. So we don't put a layer mask on that as well. We don't press Alt and Backspace again. And if the color black, it's supposed to get rid of everything. Just like that. So now, because we have it at 20, we don't change that to 10. We can kind of switch this to white and, you know what I mean, kind of create an artificial sky if you kind of get the, the, the idea um, of what I go for. So let's change this again to five. We want it very thin. We don't want it too, too, you know what I mean, notice. We want it thin. And we'll do a little bit and we'll kind of come down over the image here. So notice when you come to the parts that were black it it take a while for sure that's fine so we'll 
come down here. And I want it fully, you know what I mean, blue. Because remember, say, the image behind it kind of have some of it missing. So, I don't want to go too crazy with it. Um, so, if we go back to this and change this back to black, put the opacity down to 4, put the flow down to 75. Then kind of correct a little bit of inconsistency. Right? Kind of make it flow a little bit smoother. Right, just like that, just like that. Good. So remember, so we have all of these mountains and all of that shit in the background. That's fine. But I'll kind of still kind of tone up that to see we kind of left a little bit of a gap. Put this up a little bit more as far as your opacity go. You know, kind of do that. Remember, so we have the layer above. So now what we do do is we do take. Take that off, we'll sample the blue. We'll turn that back on. And now we'll go over the grass, upon the, that layer, and we'll put this to 5%. And we'll paint over the grass to kind of give the, um, the illusion, say the, the moonlight a beat down upon it. You understand what I'm saying? And then we can do the same exact thing for all of that, like the smoke and all of that type of shit. So, another thing what we can do is, because the manure said the, the moonlight a beat down upon the grass like that, you can come in and um in at this case i don't have the the grass layer kind of trim them as problem should so maybe we're going and um we're going and do that let's go 100 percent we trim down the grass a little bit more all right so cool so now what we can do is pan the grass itself if we got 100 percent and then we got Multiply and then change this back to 100% and make sure the brush stays soft. What we can do is we can add an illusion as if the um the, the grass have highlights like a one spot and we will explain this more once we start putting the light upon him himself and upon the tombstone them. So what we can do now is just right at the edge. Come across like that. The reason why it has show like that is because when I have the grass kind of clean up as we should have the glass clean up so that's why i said that would have probably not work in this situation and when we get to the tombstone then it definitely are gonna work but for right now that's not kind of an um an option basically what we do do is just add some highlights to um everything we're going so for right now we can just you know what i mean change up just look a bit at the at the background and um and all of that type of shit so, you know what i mean so without the highlights with the highlights you know what i mean so that's fine. So um, the look in between, right? That's so between the, the, the you know the sky and um and all of that. I'm not sure if more want left it dark like that or if more want just kind of continue make it fade down. Right now, I kind of feel it as it is. I don't really feel like it need um not more than that. If anything, I probably would have just bring in some of the um some of the blue color what they in between, right? That's so that's probably the only thing I'm gonna do with that. So for right now, I feel like that's kind of cool. Yeah, put it on multiply, let's go back to normal. Bring this down to 5%. Bring that up. Cool, just like that. Just like that, that's cool. Alright. So now, if we move on to the smoke, so if we come to the smoke, the highlighted layers, if we create an effect, yeah, not an effect, yeah, sorry about that, we create a new layer, make it a blending or a clipping mask, as you can see, we can paint over the, even over the smoke scene, if we kind of, you know, make that fit the, the image you see and bring. But we're not really focus on that. We don't focus on the tombstone them. So you have some of the tombstone are directly in at the light, right? So we have to kind of make something sure, say, yo, them tombstone they in at the light. So what we do do is we'll go symmetry. So this are the center or the symmetry in the center. So we'll put two layers. 
we have one which is the shadow layer and then we have one which is the highlight full highlight layer right so if we come on the second layer make sure so we have this at 100 percent like that um brushes in a photoshop are very important in my case i have different types of brush i have some light brush which me do use right and now so what them they do is them kind of project or give off the appearance of light so if me come here so and do this notice how them take up that so what me do is right click we don't rotate they kind of do it at an angle just like the, the moon itself right and what i'm gonna do is i'll just click and add like the blue tint there coming from the moon you know what i mean just to the, the layers where they write underneath the moon for right now so if we go to um the third or the other tombstone so we go click two layer one is highlight one is um just the, the shadow in this case yeah we're not have the same effect there because it now fully reach all of the image them you know what i mean so we don't really have to worry about it they reach every single one of the um the tombstone them because it's not really fully lick the one all the way over here so in the corner it might touch it a little bit so we don't get it a little bit but it now go really reach over there as like you know what i mean the other one them. you know so or just treat it as such cool so now this is the thing i'm gonna tell about with the highlight layer right so if i zoom in all the way and we go up on the highlight layer let's call that highlight and then let's just go call this um shot um um damn let's just call this low light so let's say that just for the sake of, for the sake and if we go in now and change my brush to soft and we go and change this to multiply Control z what we can do now is zoom in all the way make this as small as possible and wherever the light lick the most or wherever me feel the light lick the most we can just come in and create like a very strong very very strong um type of light so do the same thing here so problem with that it overlap into the other one right so the quick fix for that is just for duplicate the layer control j and upon the the why one name here upon the, the the layer mask we don't mask off the the back or the the one behind the the tombstone behind right there so so just literally other point here so other point here so other point here so and then bring this up need another one then we can come down here right there so right so just need to straight just like that just kind of you know get rid of that so right click make selection boom brush change the color to block and you know we can get rid of if i have cool. so as you can see the problem with that is now the the moonlight that's above you can see say it uh because i have it set as a clipping mask it uh, affect the 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 image that's above you know what i mean we don't want that so what we can do about that is we can either one put this underneath yeah so and then do the clipping mask which now that we put it underneath now affect none of the other thing right or do it the other way the long way where what would have to do is now would have to flip so control shift i flip the 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 y1 name here yeah? flip the damn what the fucking um damn, the moonlight. so we'll have to flip this and then get rid of this a tombstone here and then do back over everything i don't really feel like I got you all of that you understand what i say so what i'm gonna do is we'll just deselect that and just add this thing here to which what i feel like it's necessary because that's a pain no, it's not really no one deal with that 
So some parts you can cut corners, you understand what I say? So now Oh we have to set the multipliers go back. No uh, multiply, that's right. Um, have it point the fucking image, that's what I'm supposed to have it point. Now we'll just oh shit. <laughs> right on the highlight. I try to get like the edge them, you know what I mean? Just to kind of give up the illusion so the, the light really kind of hit hard at them certain parts there. So if we turn that off, highlights, you know what I mean? I can see the difference if we turn off both of them, you know? So, that are them there, still them one over here, so. Now I'm going to do all of them, just some of them. Let's move to the ones in the middle now. See the right, that's what it look like you know, on a hide post soul. So I'll drag them and don't over it. Clipping mask, clipping mask. I'm say highlight. Low light. And we'll do the same thing with we'll our get the other brush. We'll all make it big. I'll just drop some light over them thing yeah. Just like that. And on the highlight now, we can go back to the other brush. Zoom in. Make that small as can. Yeah, and the key is to make sure so like the light kind of fade out slowly. So like it fade in, that's where some of start right over the image. And it click, and then it slowly just fade out for a bit. Yeah. Just like that. You know what I mean? Cool. So now, we have all of the cemetery stuff. For right now, let's go to animals. Let's find the chrome and just download some crows. And we'll put a crow in the background. I have to make sure it's a proportional low. Can't really have this um, big blood clot grow and in a proportional. You know what I mean? So I put a crow up on the, up on the top tombstone or so. We all do get it for you. Know, kinda look natural. Natural is using shadows. So these are the crow now. So really, we can put the crow above the cemetery because it's still loaded up on top of the tombstone. I would all control group. I would all put crows in here. So right, because we might use more than one. So we'll create one layer above, one layer um, below. Start with the below layer. This is going to be a shadows layer, so we'll flip the color to black. But I'll drop the opacity to about 15%. And uh, one other thing we need to do, we need to put a layer above, and we'll do a clipping mask. We need to make the crow foot like kind of, you know what I mean, look a bit on the black side, so we can make it seem as if the shadows them real, you know what I mean? We need to make uh, like the whole blood clad foot, all tough foot, but you know what I mean? 
when you zoom out all the way, it's not going to really look like shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's put a clipping mask on the, the cemetery. On the floor. And the, oh, it's in a group, so we can't go to that. So yeah, we need to um, do this then. Let's um, select the cemetery. The middle one yeah so now if we go up to the corona one you know do the shadow the shadow now and go outside of the um outside of the cemetery all right another way we could do it is we could have just come on the layer get the pen tool put the pen tool right there so make a you know what i mean a cut like that or so and come out the other side of the crow foot like that and make sure so we kind of stay upon on the, 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 the damn tombstone right so we're gonna make selection boom and then we can just use we we shadow inside uh inside us so, right so we can just make the initial part of this kind of dark just for kind of reflect city yeah the crowd up on the black clash um stuff here so we can't really have too much on the light but we still have little light because all we do is put the shadow over the light you know what i mean and even though the light is underneath it's still like a seat so let's press d i mean come on i mean control and d and um control and t if you kind of lift this up a little bit so we can cover up the little light or escape or whatever whatever like that now what we can do is we fine tune it we just simply put a, a layer mask on it and do the same black brush black brush motherfucker kind of um clean it up you know what i mean can we have a little bit of an escape i don't want that so control t like that if we zoom out now you know you can see the bird did it but it's a little bit dominant you don't really want that we just want it for sure a bit just to make you know people don't say yeah the bird did it <laughs> so let's um zoom out all right cool 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 clean simple zoom out all the way bird look kind of big to be honest but we can fix all of it so we can take the background and we can take ssg lyrical layer and just make them bigger Supposed to be the SSD and the wall, yeah, and we make them bigger. And then the crow, control and T, I make that a little bit smaller, like so. And then one other little thing, I'm gonna do one other little small little detail. I'm going to add this with a zoom in on the eye. I'm going to change the color from black to red. Uh, make sure so your opacity stay the same. I'm going to add brush. I'm add a red. That if you give me the eye. And the reason why I use the, the soft brush is because I want have control over my other. So if we use the hard brush, it's just like a you no know, the eye come in for us are cool. It's gonna be a positive we have this. Oh we have it for multiply so it's gonna normal. You know what I mean? Cool. So, let's start working on him now, as far as the, um, this is, this is the move, so control G, move, what's that, it's the background, and now we can start add lighting and all of that to him, so let's go, 
up here. Um, let's get CM light brush at an angle. Actually, let's change that um, brush. Actually, no, it even if you change it. Um, let's just zoom out. So let's go make this a lot, a lot bigger. Yeah, I want to do for him specifically. I want to kind of get him from a, a decent angle like that. So let's make a layer up above. Drop that down. Let's change this. Let's go like so. And I want it so. You know, I want it noticeable, but no more so. Cool. All right. So then I'm here. What we'll do is we'll go create a new layer, put that below. We'll all make sure so this is black. I'll change this to full black. And this have a kind of fix the, the edges and I'm here and all of that. This one, let me say, I can fix that because it's not the most tip top of quality um, image or whatever. All right. So we need this way. Know, or you can just go change it to this small it up and you know do all of that so you know this a case yeah much rather just a soft brush you know what I mean and This thing showing uh, showing color like that like that shit is weird oh that's why fucking idiot <laughs> feel slow yo yeah so the reason why is because me did a paint for the actual picture and not using a a clipping mask like I should be so yeah, with the clipping mask, we have that. We can kind of, you know, get rid of some of the unnecessary stuff. So, um, we have the light on him. I mean, all of this to get rid of that. Yeah, so we have the light on him. Can probably do it a little bit more. So let's go back to the brush again. Um. Let's uh, move back to the image and change this back to this blue. Let's go up and actually sample it again. Cool. Let's go back to the top layer here. Alright, cool. Now we can create one layer above that and we'll call that highlights. In a this case, I would all use white instead of blue. Cause of the body and no um and not the and not the um what I wanna call it. So I'll just go from like the top of here and all of that. him like the shadow underneath him now so just drag and drop some underneath him like that and we need to kind of get a, um, a clip of the wall like that and then we'll go back to the shadow layer and make a mask now that mask would all get rid of anything in the world just make a shadow first and then we can use the clipping mask now if it um if it kind of um fix any issues or whatever now, so how i do yeah so Boom, 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 boom. Make sure so the, the area closest to him fully dark. And then I'll kind of get weaker as you go. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. So, kind of make it seem as if I'm gonna sit up. And we'll deselect that. 
we'll just switch the brush we'll just switch the opacity to 50 percent and we need to go to the, the mask sorry about that i we'll just need to paint over let me see the area closest to him have to have a nice you know shadow to it everything else is cool it's not not no i have to but the area closest to him so what we'll do is we'll actually go up on him again or we'll click and create another mask and this time we'll just use the the block um the block um side to this and we'll kind of dark up the edge and points to make it seem as if the you know the wall or reflect off and points and all of that really kind of gain the, the look of leaning against the wall you know and i mean so same thing not with him hand but with the, like the inside and points right there so we definitely don't want that look like i say it dark you know what i mean but we are using the soft brush so we go still kind of seeing points but it will just make it look as if you know the shadow them kind of you know work its way in you know same thing with the so we don't really need to mess with the, the top side actually the front time points without change you can take off the yeah half of that you know what i mean so half of the highlight probably can cover up right so we don't really need we need that dark we need that cover up just like that all right cool and then point this itself we can drop the opacity to like 80 percent and uh, if we go back to the shadow layer and i need him now okay now just like that and then add to it by just painting with black just like that So like me did I say with the um change up the, the grass and then foot with the wall or whatever so all those and the wall itself without create a clipping mask and with the um first let me need to zoom in to the bottom of the wall you know the brush a little bit bigger and if we paint over this And so I start up. Which is cool. Because now, if we go on a cemetery and go all the way to the back and then create a new grass layer. Not glass, grass. If we create a new grass layer um, or ground. Okay, ground. We need some more kind of what that look like. Um, that would do. All right, so me, they wonder why the um underneath the wall look like that. So if we turn off the wall completely, I wonder what under there. Cause it look weird. The, oh, that is the, the smoke. So that's what the hell that is. Um, so we need to put the, the new grass level we create. One if we can get around that. Let's put it above the um the smoke but behind the wall. So put it above at the top of everything in the cemetery, but still behind the wall. And what we can do now is just use the um Leon wants to get rid of anything while well, might uh, mess up anything in the cemetery. So, you no. Know? Oh, we don't get it to blend in with the, with the, um, with the, what you want to call it, the cemeteries. We don't just put a, a layer above it and we don't just, you know, use block. And that kind of get the illusion as if like it a meet up with the wall. Then we'll put another layer above it, and that layer now is going to be a clipping mask. And the opacity for the darkness now we'll use 20. And we'll go over the grass a couple of times to kind of darken it up a little bit. Just like that. You understand? So basically we we'll just create a like a completely artificial um um cemetery and you can see how everything kind of just come come to life right so 
Um, one thing I'm kind of not like, you know, I'm more I probably like a change. Like I said, it's not a professional. I'm just know how to get around in a Photoshop. You know what I mean? Is the 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 cemetery, not the cemetery, but the highlights upon him himself. So what I'm gonna probably want to do is um just bring down the opacity upon them there. You know, kind of just to make sure see them dead, but no, no, no too, too dead. You understand what I'm gonna say? Um, definitely like. Or oh, I go on with it, it's perfectly fine, but I just want kind of tone down upon it a little bit. And that's cool. So now, let me some more work with DreamX before so we can go in our um, assets and um, just type in uh, DreamX. And we we'll have him logo so we can literally just um, drag it in. But because I already work with him, let's go DreamX again. Um, if we take the logo, or not this one. Get another one, so let's go SSG. Um, G. All right, cool. So, this I want to so let's go and find the logo, the Dreamx logo. So, we have logo and drag that across, and then we don't put we can delete the parental advisor, I think. You always want the logo ahead of every single thing. So I'll take that control and T. I'll put that in the corner like so. So hold on on control and move it up and get it off of the corner. You understand? Um, then let's go back over here. Let's bring across the text layer. Drop it. Press control and T. If it not show up, I will do Get the DreamX Productions. That's what I really want out of all of the text. So I can delete that, that, that. Um, boom. Just want the DreamX Productions. We'll so bring that down. Line it up with our layer and what they're going. We need to change the text though. So let's find a more suitable text feed. Alright, that's cool. Let's go up. So everything cool, change the color to white so we can read what I'm going on. Let's bring this down. All these work are uh, add a drop shadow. The drop shadow really do kind of help it um, stand out. I mean, kind of give it like a, a definition to it. Make it more pronounced, more readable. And that's what I'm going to say. Boom, DreamX Productions. Um, far from done though so we just add in and you know we are composite and make sure that everything cool so let's um, close up the SSG lyrical folder like in everything we are going so far it, um, one thing I am kind of did um, what I am going to do is I um, want me add you know like a homage to Louis Rankin so let's this um tombstone right there so kind of suit it you know what i mean so we either can add you know r.i.p louis um pun it or we can um yeah more added to the tombstone um and so let's go r.i.p fun or tombstone fun I need a font. Kind of suit. Um, wild one. So let's go. Tombstone font. Oh, nightmare. I like nightmare. And download that. Um, files. I got the font.com. See what them have over here, so as far as the tombstone, and we don't know that though. Install that. And then we can install the yeah. yeah. Install our trailer now. One, two, 
true quick like that we're going to um fl i'm um, not fl now just them um, fucking photoshop and we'll type in rip we did that between all right look how i have this space all like that that's how it looks so we'll change this to tombstone up a little bit of a gradient overlay we'll get the um kind of silver grayish type of over um overlay upon it make sure she in a shadow a little bit um darker in the sun let's change this to like a darker gray bring what the size i don't even really the size still let's bring them the opacity texture you can add like a, a layer of um authenticity to it so let's drop that drop it put it in a text layer If you kind of get want it for blend we don't want it for just stick out and you know i mean so we'll right click blending options or we'll dog a drop shadow we'll turn that down or we'll bring it back as far as distance and then we'll turn on the overall opacity of the font You know, cause I want git like a look like it. It is a whole tombstone like it. You know what I mean? We don't want it just noticeable. Like, yo, it didn't want it just um subtle, very subtle. Um, underneath that would all type um ranking. Um, I'm sure. I'm So me and up instead of using the text, I just drop a picture in upon the tombstone and just kind of, you know, I mean, blend it up a proper way. Uh, I couldn't find a man birthday there. That shit fucking retarded, yo. That shit retarded, yo. Swear to God. So let's create a little mask and um and uh, get rid of all of the unnecessary shit. We only need him face. But she's still crazy. Bum buckler, bruh. Boy. Life more time to bum buckler. Alright, cool. So we don't really fully need to kind of delete all of You know what I mean? Everything else around him. Can kind of just use a um. 
a layer mask to kind of um, take care of all of the outer thing them so we'll just go boom clipping mask and then we'll sample the tombstone in a different place and kind of just use that kind of fill in some of the, the image so you know if, like I say we'll sample it in a different spot and all of that kind of get rid of some of the blue out of it um, get a bit of the darkness and all of that and then overall over them face we'll just put a a full like um black um layer but we'll put it at like 20 percent opacity so we'll kind of know you know take away from the the image one we'll kind of keep that consistent you understand what i'm saying so you'll definitely do that control t make that look a bit bigger Let's um, put a clipping wasp on that and kind of you know, make it so. You know what I mean? So. Um, that's that. Let's go back to this and get rid of the rest of that blue thing there. Alright. So I'll take care of that. Cool. So for the most part, we're almost done. So before I add the, the text for the for the song and finish up everything, let's um close up um this so control G. I'll put RIP ranking. Close up the cemetery. And what we'll do now is we'll make a full composite of everything without the um without the text layer, right? So we'll put that above text and logo. So we'll come right here. So control shift alt and E. We'll get a solid composite layer. But we'll take that we'll got filter, we'll got topaz labs. Them are third party plugin. I have to have them if you use them. Them are third party. So um we'll add like a filter to the to the image now. We now we are kind of refined the image. You know, kind of get it a, a certain way, a certain quality. So let's go stylize detail for God Cloud. And you see how it kind of change up there. If you click on it, you see the difference. You understand what I'm going to say? So I don't really want that. That's too much. Um, that's cool. You know? I'm telling you, I kind of like that. But that kind of defeat all of the work I would do because it kind of change the whole entire tone of the image. It kind of gives a different tone. I don't really want that either. I like the spring. Um, the spring thing right there, so. So, um, what I'm gonna do is because I'm gonna want the lower ranking thing kind of overshadow it, it's supposed to be like a background thing. I'm gonna do, um, delete the layer, I'll take the lower ranking thing, I would drop it down to about 60% opacity. But I want it to, you know what I mean, about 55. And then we can do the composite layer again, go back in at the filter, go back at the same topaz detail. And um, we'll go back at spring landscape again for kind of emphasize the blue tone of our already have. Yep, so just like that. And press OK. Then we'll all create another layer, Control Shift Alt E. We'll drop the opacity upon this to 75%. We'll go filter, topaz labs, topaz are just five. And then we'll go and uh, film. Let's try this TMG film tone right or so. Dark. Let's go vintage grunge. No. Mm, kind of like this. But, um, that's a too grainy. So let's, um, the local adjustment finishing touches. Let's change the, the vignette. Uh, 
want some more something like that. Now and then add the finally I take some name and the name of the song. So right here we'll go SSD lyrical. Change the font though. Actually, I don't even know if we do that. I'm gonna do it this with all. Raise it up. Put it in the center of the image. on top it's gonna have ssg i would have take the pen tool i would have just kind of carve out a nice little spot just like that Clipping mask on it, make selection, enter, press B. Now do I get rid of all of that? D select. So now when we bring what you pass it to 100 percent And that's what I'm gonna say, we'll change the SSD lyrical to red. The, all this and the pain with all other Drop shadow too for kind of guitar. Um, more three dimensional look to it. Uh, 
right. And um, lastly, let's get um, some sort of you know grunge texture and some more dark though. And perfect. I add it to the text. Turn on screen. So let's go normal and just use the opacity. effects in a shadow kind of add like a little bit of darkness to the, the edge um, it's okay the image drop the opacity down some more actually I'm just replace the image we'll go in a grunge texture right so if we go in a so 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 I want to see more of a bunch of stripe on it yeah like that and the uh, screen and then that's cool just drop that power pin um, if you make the pin text a little bit like darker you will see it more oh man but i don't want it like i want it a little bit gray more you can see but i don't want it too noticeable same thing up at the top yeah so same thing with the text color, so I'll give it a gray, just like that. And if me do one more, Control Alt Shift E, and then run this through to Opaz Labs again, just and run it through Vibrant. Okay. Take the layer, drop it opacity to like thirty percent. That's why I like a little bit of you know brightness to it. Turn it off, do it once more. Put that layer up on top. Make that layer there fifty percent. Go back a filter. Got two parts labs. Got detail now. details apply okay JPEG. We are done. <laughs> but yeah, man, you understand? It's a process that takes an hour and 47 minutes. So, full finished product right there. You understand? And everything was artificially created. You understand? I'm going to say, see the Louis Rankin thing up on the grave, the crew up on the grave. You know what I mean? We have the SSG over here up on the wall, the grass below the wall, the cemetery in the background, the moon, and all of that. You know what I mean? So until next time, it's your boy, Bees the Truck Star. Peace.